Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy XV, and as you saw in the last video, obviously, I did leave in the, um, I did leave in the loading screens because I've decided they're going to be a good point for me to talk. Uh, I won't get interrupted ever, and, uh, I think it'll just be a good place for me to talk. I'll edit out the ones that, uh that I don't talk, but I should have stuff to say each time, so I think we shouldn't have any problem. Uh, it'll give me a chance to talk and talk about whatever, uh, but let's get into this. Stop the land and let's start playing. So let's head on to our quest, the I'm Errand Prince. Order. Yep. I never noticed that ad for Golden Quay up there. And I like how it was pointing out that way, and we are heading this way. Story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. <laughs> Act is so awkward in this at points. Like, he just... He just seems out of it, and like, <laughs> like he never wants to talk. He's just like an awkward, that teen. Hey, like he's just an awkward. See see. I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And save with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Alright, so we are at Golden Way. I think it, I was at like eight hours played by the time I got here, I feel like. No, not that many, but like three. So let's check out those weapons we first. Punish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Does the game come with? Okay, so it comes with five potions, two phoenix downs, and an elixir. Let's regas the regalia while we're here. Like I said, hopefully I won't forget to gas up the regalia in this playthrough. All right, let's see if there's Take any. Look at our wares. Uh... All right, looks good. Later. We don't have a lot of money, so I'm not going to go all out. If I had a bunch of money, I would buy out all those bronze bangles so that is I could this equip them. Amazing or what? The breeze is quite refreshing. Didn't think I'd enjoy the seaside this much. Well, it sounds like it's made a good first impression. This area is so beautiful. I love this area so, so much. Not only does it have the two times the multiplier for XP, it's just a cool area. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well... They'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. 
The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh. Yeah, right. Do <sighs> <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. Absolutely breathtaking. Yes. I will do my best to not uh, to not do any massive spoilers while I'm going through this, because obviously I know what happens with all of this. Um, so I will do my best not to just start blabbling, ba bla babbling on about things that happen later in the game. ship in sight. What gives? According to my sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding. Right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis, bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. I wonder what happens if you stand your ground. I'm gonna stand my ground. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. Uh, all right, well, then that happens. Okay, so the same outcome happens. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? Appreciate it. All right, time to head to the mineral deposit. Let's just go ahead and return to the car Let's like this. Number, um, there will be a couple of times where I wanted to know what would happen if you say it said the other, but generally, um, I tend. With best not make him our enemy. I tend to just go along and pick the answers that, like I would pick. Yep. All right. Not exactly like role playing Noctis, but just going off of the what I would say or what I would do given the choices, and like, or well, like if if I was not, I guess if I was not. Your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the Crown City. Glad it's not weighing me down. So that's what I tend to do in these games where you get dialogue options and you can pick. Uh, but there are a couple of points like that one. I just wanted to see what if I stood my ground, would he just kind of, would he just kind of give in or or what? Or would he get pissed? There are a couple of interesting things like that I just wanted to check out pretty much. But most of all, mostly I pretty much know that neither either one of these that i say it's going to have the exact same outcome so let me just say the one that i i think i should say i guess i don't know i don't know if that made any sense but <laughs> it kind of made sense to me you so sure let's park the regalia right according to the map let's scoop it out All right, away we go. I should get better at doing the infinite stamina run, but I'm not, and it's a habit for me to jump. It is literally like a habit in every game that I play where stamina sprinting is like an issue. Like in Fallout, I'll jump. 
I don't think it. I think in this game it does. It moves you a little bit faster, but. O M G. We're supposed to get near that thing. Pipe down before you wake it up. I really wish you got to fight this thing. I didn't actually think you could get squashed by him. Oh, we made it out alive. Barely. I seriously thought we were at journey's end. With that feat was fit for a king. Indeed. Alright, time to give Dino the stone. Let's see, hold on. Alright, they don't have any dialogue. I was gonna let them see if they had any dialogue. Return to the car. Loading screen for this isn't bad. It's actually gotten better. Um, it used to be horrible, like, with the full loading screens. Um, I really do need to buy an Xbox One S just to speed the loading screens up just a tad bit. Uh, but that's not too bad. Oops, that's not... Everything in order. Yep. We'll just take the drive. You could fast travel back, but... We'll just make us a nice little drive on back. But I'm interested. It'll probably be in a couple of days. Probably two or two more days, three more days. I don't know. Maybe sooner, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I will be doing that, that uh, King's Tale. Granted, I like it. I am going to play it for a little bit and make sure that I enjoy it so that I don't end up starting a playthrough of something and then having to either quit it or or fake that I'm enjoying it uh, to finish it uh, so I will give it a little bit of a test run make sure I I like it and I'll go from there with it uh, if I don't like it I'll obviously update you in one of these videos and then maybe I'll pick another game to, to play because uh, I'd like to have maybe two games going at once uh, if I want to get back into maybe doing a few Let's Plays from time to time. Let's get the regalia parked. I guess I'll pay the 10 gil to, re, uh, to refuel us real quick. It's real pretty here at night. And yet, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? Huh? And so the issue, one of the issues that I'm not going to be used to in this playthrough is it's been so long since I wasn't level 30 where you can travel at night. Um, so I'm going to have to remember that because it's getting close to night. My camera's like glitching out. It keeps wanting to flip it to different angles and I'm not sure why. But that is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Because I got to level 30 pretty darn early throughout the game. I don't think... I wasn't too far into the game, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like, it, that far into the main story. I think it took me, like, tw 12 hours? 10 hours? That cat quest is pretty easy, but... We'll leave the kitty for now. Well, really, like I said, the only side quest that we're going to be doing is... is the ones in Lestalum for taking help. pictures. I'm cool with camping. And just to get the money, simply, that's about it. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. 
Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. You guys ready to set sail? Okay, once you proceed, obviously. Right. The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? All right. It's bedtime. Yeah. And here is your free one time, two time, free two times multiplier here. I don't have much experience, which is bad, but I will be able to get a couple of levels here. So we got to level 7 with uh, Ignis. Ooh, we leveled up Photography. What do we got here in terms of pictures? Damn, this is a really good shot. Definitely gotta save that <laughs> one. Sure I got the Regalia's good side. Save the pictures of Umbra. Uh, we'll save a picture of that. And save a picture of Dino. Alright. That's really nice if you would know that in advance so that you could save up experience. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... Falls. What? Is this your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. 
Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? Lies. Hmm. If only... Uh, what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. I don't know why at the beginning of that cutscene the audio is so low, like you can't hear like anything. Uh, like when they initially whip out their swords and start the initial fight, there's like no volume and then all of a sudden it just kicks on. But you know, I kind of wish there was an easter egg. Um, not really, maybe not an easter egg, but like a, you know like in Far Cry, is that Far Cry 4? Where if you sit at that table so long, you get that alternate ending where he comes back and yeah, he takes you to your mom's ashes and game over and it's just kind of a fun 10 minute thing. I kind of wish there was a fun like 10 minute thing where you went and got married uh, and it was just kind of like an alternate little thing. And, you know, then they're like, yeah, OK, now play our game the way <laughs> you're supposed to. But it probably wouldn't make sense like that did. But that really didn't make sense either. But just something I thought. Um but now we're on our we're going to head on our way back. Um I thought there was more to that little scene there than than that. I thought I remembered more like I thought they looked at a TV of it being down or uh, of the capital or, or something. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I played too much Final Fantasy. Searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. I feel like it's appropriate A that the those things. Imperial dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitech infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. I find it funny that the gas doesn't go down in this part. Like, up ahead. <laughs> They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Go time. I like how this time they drive you back here, but there ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. I think like the other time you come back here, it makes you drop off like over by on the road. All right, let's get our sword ready, there and it are. is go time. If you want to take them out? Oh yeah. Those scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a tree to protect them. You know, he asks you if you want to fight him like you have a choice. I don't really think you have a choice whether or not you want to fight him. Why did I one-shot that other guy? The one thing about this sword is it's so slow. Yeah. 
And with it being so slow, it takes you forever. If you don't kill him with the warp strike, it's like a long, extended thing to actually to actually get your attacks out and kill anything. And this part sucks because you have no MP. And there's so many of them. I probably should have waited until I got my MP back. Alright, come on, meter, fill up so I can use an attack. Alright, Ignis, Mark. Oh, it didn't give me the option to follow it up. Oh, dang it, I wasted that. I wasted that too, because that did no damage. I'm just out here wasting. That was a waste early to kill him, but... We're all clear. I like at the beginning of every game... Coming from? Can't imagine what it's like inside. I have always liked beginning of games where you level up so quickly. Let me warp strike this guy up here because he's an annoyance. No! This guy. Alright, I knocked him off good. He becomes really annoying if you don't get him off of there. Because especially if you run out of uh, MP, then you're like... You have to sit here and wait with him shooting at you the whole time. I hate the snipers. They just get annoying. So these are MTs. MT humanoid soldiers. Soulless. Merciless. Hold on, we need, come here, we need to kill this guy back here. It takes so long to recharge your MP, dude. At the beginning of the game, like, I'm used to being able to just warp strike after warp strike after warp strike. Instead, I'm just... This is just a slow... Journey has... I don't know why that axe man is just watching. Why is he just... Look at this! This poor guy is glitched. <laughs> and now he's dead. Oh, he didn't die. Let's wait for my experience to pop and he hadn't died. going on? Where are you? Outside the city, with no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Right. What did the marshal have to say? City being hammerhead.
And that essentially means that I'm the king. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it here, guys. I think that's a good ending point. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will get back at it in the next episode. Peace out, guys.